in the pursuit of unlimited speed and the research of understanding the unique era of shoreboard revolution, I've been breeding and surfing dozens of flexpoons over the last three years. I've been making them in the classic way of using a regular server blank. My good friend Jeff Hull from Ventura, California owns the surfboard factory where I come to share boards with a focus on flex spoons. One day, he came up with the idea of building a mold from one of the spoons I was making. The mold was a long process to build, but Jeff Hull has a lot of knowledge regarding surfboard breeding and boat breeding. He has become one of the youngest and best boat breeders in California. We prepared the plug and started layering the mold with many, many layers of roving, mat, roving, mat. After a few days, it was time to pop out the plug and to use the mold. It was not easy and we ended up with it filling water between the plug and the mold. Then, we started to breed the spoon from the mold and layered fiberglass inside and poured foam in it. It was time to experiment and try new things. Time to see what Greenhoff was looking for and pass by the way he passed. We decided to try the spoon in good waves and hot water and plan a quick trip to Hawaii. We finished the spoon the night before jumping in the plane, without glassing the fin yet and packed in a ball bag. Once we got to Hawaii, we went on the North Shore and finished the spoon at the first stone factory. We glassed the fin and finally finished the spoon. The day after, we headed to V-Land on Sunset Beach. The waves were nice. 4 to 6 foot with a nice offshore wind. It was a perfect platform to try the board and make it flex. Mm -hmm.